Hi everyone, I'm Shauna Yao, CEO and Business and Personal Success, Success Strategist at TotalGenius.net, where I help you discover your genius, your expertise, and your life experience combined into your life purpose, and build a profit-generating business around it. And today, we're going to talk about one of my favorite subjects. It's something I've spent the last uh, you know, all of my life really doing, um, and it's the one thing that I find most of my um, BBFs, my best business friends, are troubled with, and that subject is marketing. Uh, it seems as though there's just a lot of confusion going on, and the one question that I most often get is, how can I devise a marketing strategy that works? that attracts clients, um, that I can do. And so what ends up happening is that most people think that you have to learn, uh, you know, what everyone is teaching. So first of all, I'm going to preface this video by saying that if you are go trying to learn about, you know, the tech side and, you know, you're all about all the logistical side, then this is not the video for you. This is for people that want a simplified version of what marketing is that will make you money it, so you can understand it in, a, in, a, in very simplified terms and then devise a strategy from there. It's about the strategy, okay? It's, this is uh, if you want to learn you know, about funnels and tech, and tech stuff and things like that, you, know, uh, you can go and sign up for B-School. So uh, let's just wait for those people to jump off. Okay, so today, now we're going to talk about marketing and how to make it um, simplified. So I want to I want to talk about three things uh, that you may be doing that may be complicating this whole idea of what marketing is. So first of all, marketing is understanding what other people need, and then uh, do producing the right things that will then uh, attract them to you and, um, and get them to buy from you, okay? So marketing is about bringing awareness to, to your business. So three things that I see that people are doing that um, just make it very complicated are number one, uh, we talked about yesterday, and it's about trying to be visible. So, you know, when you go and you try to be visible, if you want, you should go watch the video if you missed that yesterday. When you're trying to be visible, you're trying to be liked, and you're not doing, you're not producing value for other people, so then they, um, they, they have no reason to buy from you. And so the goal, remember, is not to be liked, it's not to be visible, it's to produce value. So if you're trying to be visible, we need to just stop that and, uh, and then do the things I'm going to teach you later in this video. Number two, you're overthinking things, like overcomplicating it. So, you know, today I'm going to teach you about how to make things simple but um, if you're trying to learn funnels and trying to learn, so let's just say like you're making like, I don't know, $3,000 a month and, uh, you know, um, profit generating Pamela is making, um, you know, $500,000 a day. And so, you know, your $3,000 a month, you're sitting there going, I need to learn what profit generating Pamela is doing. So, you know, so I can earn how much she's earning. And so you go and you try to learn what she's doing and maybe she's teaching it. And the reality is, is that, you know, you're earning $3,000 and whatever she's doing and how she earned her uh, $5 million a day is, is, is not, you know, what she's teaching now is not what she did to get to her $500 million a day um, uh, pay. Does that make sense? Because it's just, um, you're trying to complicate it and, and jump ahead of the process. And there's a process to building your business and making it profitable. You know, that process is not only what is done on the outside,
but it's what happens on the inside of your head in order to get all the things out that need to get out that I'm going to tell you about later today, later in this video. Then the third thing is, is that you're trying to learn from the gurus. So it's just a weird word to me. But let's just say you're trying to learn from people that, um, let's just say Marie Forleo. And so you go and you try to take B-School. Well, you know, B-School teaches you everything. At, I haven't taken it, but, you know, it, it teaches you everything under the sun, as I understand, of what you can do for your marketing. You know, it teaches you about uh, social media and, and, and all the different channels and how to do, you know, video and how to do all these different things. So then, you know, you learn all of that and then uh, you go and you try to do it yourself. And uh, number one... Uh, you've just complicated what marketing actually is. Um, number two, you've forgotten what your value is, which is the thing you need to communicate below all of that tech garble. And uh, number three, um, you, uh, let's see, what was number three? Well, I don't know, I can't think of number three. But you, one and two. So, uh, uh, oh, so number three is that uh, when she first started out she didn't have b-school and she did other things uh, in order to produce her business and then she developed b-school so you know what I noticed and I'm not going to say everybody because I, I don't know but from my, what I noticed from many of the gurus you know and I'm a business strategist so I help people build businesses so the goal you know when you get to be at that level is to be as hands off as possible so you develop these like, you know, classes and courses and things that are, you know, full of video and different things like that. And they may be packed with value, but if you are not there and you don't, um, if you're not at that level yet, you know, if you've jumped ahead of the process and now you're trying to learn from like a video and you still haven't like uncovered what the value is inside of you, you've jumped ahead of the process and you're trying to learn something you don't need to know yet. And so it just, it, it becomes like this garbled mess in your head. And this is why everyone's like, I don't understand marketing. You know, I don't, I need to, you know, know a system that works. So I want to talk about like how to really just simplify your understanding of what marketing is. And, you know, I can't teach it all, um, in a, in a video, but I, in, in this video, but I, you know, I, I want to help you understand um, just the essentials of what a marketing strategy that works is. So first of all, and I taught this, um, I don't know, back in January, you know, there are three truths to what happens in a human brain. And that means that you, your ideal clients, you know, we all have that same human brain. You know, it starts with the fight or flight. Everyone judges things from their fear brain. Number two, you know, it goes into their emotional brain where their heartfelt decisions and gut reactions are. And then it goes to their stupid thinking brain that justifies all, you know, the purchases. And, you know, tells you you're stupid and, and, and also learns. All the brains are the same. And so our human, our human brains are designed to, um, to uh, want what we can't have. So if somebody put like a yummy chocolate cake in front of you and then was like, nope, you can't have it. Your mouth is like watering and you're like, oh my God, I really want that. And the more they say no, the more suddenly you want it. I witnessed this the other day in a store. Like there was this, you know, this clothing item um, hanging on a rack and it was just, you know, people were passing it by. It was kind of ugly. And then somebody picked it up and they're like looking at it and then the Somebody in, in the line I was standing in was like, oh, my God, I have to have that. And you could just see, like, her salivating. And then when the other woman, like, um, didn't let it go, the woman was like, I can't believe. Like, I really wanted that. But she didn't want it before because we want what we can't have. So uh, if you are trying to say, buy me, buy me, I'm here, I'm here, um, you've just violated rule number one of the human brain. Number two... We run from that which is chasing us. So again, you know, if you're like, buy me, buy me, uh, you know, I have this for you. Let me give you this for free. You know, um, uh, what can I do for you? These people are like thinking this person's desperate 
And so they're running. And this may not even be conscious thought, but that's actually what's going on uh, inside of their brain. I'm sorry, there's a loud truck outside. It'll pass soon. And then number three, um, people, even if you don't recognize your own value, which I, I notice you know, many people have trouble with, if you don't recognize your own value, that's something totally different. But as a person and as a, a shopper, you recognize value when you see it. So when you are looking for, you know, when you're shopping or, you know, whatever your um, value judgment system is. So regardless if you, you think that something at Target is very valuable, they have very cute clothes, by the way, right now. <laughs> uh, if you think something at, at Target is very valuable, that's your value system. And you know how to spot things that are at Target rather than going to like Kmart. Like you actually can see the difference. So when uh, people are shopping for whatever it is that you sell, you know, if you're life coaching, um, you know, you sell jewelry, whatever it is. I'm sorry, this truck is so friggin' loud. <laughs> um, you sell, whatever you sell, they, they're judging that based on the value that it is to them. So if, if, you know, if our brains are operating this way, you know, their brain is saying run from you if you're trying to chase them um, and they know how to spot value. If you are trying to um, do what everyone else is teaching without understanding your own value and how to simplify this whole process, uh, it, it's just going so free. Can you hear that? That is so loud. Can you just hold on a second? Okay, I'm just It's 500 degrees outside, so I'm, I'm just shut my window. But I hope that'll help. Okay, so, um, so if you are trying to do all those things, you're actually looking like a threat to them rather than uh, the goals that you are. And so instead, I want to present a different scenario where you actually approach your marketing from a person of high value and then you understand, so uh, you may want to take notes. <laughs> you know, I love these moments that at the base of your profit generating business and attracting clients are two human beings. <laughs> Somebody actually, I don't care if you have a funnel, I don't care if you have like an email list of like 20,000 people, at the base of you making money is another human being who has to be motivated to pull out their wallet and pay you money. That means that you're speaking to another human being in your marketing. You're not trying to devise a funnel to move this thing down it so that it can like funnel down. So I want to just, you know, that's at the simple basis of marketing. Understanding human behavior so that um, you can do things to, to move these people to you. That's called client attraction. There, sorry, the, the truck is gone now. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you a little story about, you know, I spent 25 years as a retail and shopping center marketing director. So I want to tell you a story that's outside of the entrepreneurial world that may help you understand what, um, what a marketing system that works is. Uh, and I, I'm taking it outside of the entrepreneurial world because marketing and business has worked the same, uh, you know, Whenever business started back in, you know, not maybe the caveman days, but, um, you know, it, it works the same whether you're a person marketing or a shopping center. So, you know, I was the shop, I was the retail, uh, I was a marketing director for this um, high end shopping center in the Valley in, in Los Angeles. And uh, it was after some earthquake had happened and, you know, the parking garage had. Uh, had collapsed, and it's in, it was in a it's in a mar a marketplace, um, a demographic that is in you know around the Hollywood studios. So there's a lot of very rich people that live up there. There's a lot of celebrities. It's just a you know it's a, it's like the Beverly Hills of um, L.A. That's not Beverly Hills. It's just up in the valley where people have like families. 
So after this earthquake, like a lot of people just stopped coming to the mall because they got really scared because the parking lot, lot had collapsed. So when I, um, they hired me, um, you know, the mall was challenged. It, it, it didn't have a lot of, um, you know, it had lost a lot of its clientele. And it was my job to bring these people back to our now safe and beautiful higher end shopping center. And so, um, you know, we did some demographic and psychographic studies, meaning that, you know, we, we, we did research on uh, not only, you know, who they are, their income level and all that, but their, their behaviors, you know, who are they? Um, do they have kids? Uh, you know, how do they, where else do they shop? You know, what do they do in their spare time? So it's not just about understanding, you know, that there's, there's just the people, but it's, it's understanding, like, who these particular people are. And so, you know, as it turned out, you know, people are in that area that are, you know, kind of rich are very, very uh, children-oriented. And they all, you know, had, like, young kids. So um, I didn't go out there and say, you know, our mall is open. Come shop us. You know, no, no, no. Because um, that would not have been a marketing strategy that works. That would be like me as an entrepreneur chasing them, trying to say, buy me, buy me. I didn't try to dumb down what the shopping center was because we were a high-end shopping center. So I didn't try to produce some stupid freebie opt-in that um, you know I, I could just throw out there and think that they were going to opt-in because people can judge value. So instead, you know, I understood their behaviors and knowing that they had a very strong passion for their children and I partnered with the school system up there to develop a Shopping for Students uh, scholarship program where um, we would get, the, the developers would gift um, a certain amount of money to the class that uh, spent the most money in the shopping center. So for every dollar they spent in the shopping center, they got bonus points. And at the end of the year, we calculated all these bonus points and then, um, you know, gave them small, you know, like $1,000 or something. It's amazing what, what uh, how passionate people are about their children and how these rich people would, like, jump through hoops to, to um, make $1,000 for their child's class. But um, we did that. I added a, um, a kids program at the mall. So I didn't, I didn't really talk about, um, you know, we're on sale now. We have this, we have that. I focused on what was important to them that didn't even have to do with the shopping center. It had to do with what was important to them. And so I brought in, um, uh, I, I, I started a, um, a kids club was one of the first shopping centers in the industry to start this kids club. And I didn't bring in Mickey Mouse's play tunes because again, I was talking to a higher end client. So instead, I worked with um, the, the local children's museum and they came in and they did arts and crafts. Like I did things that appealed to this demographic that didn't have anything to do with what we sold. And then, you know, um, to get them to shop, they had the Shopping for Students program. Um, you know, when they would come for Kids Club, they would be able to get a whole sheet of like, stores that were offering special um, deals. And that's how we marketed to them. So I was able to raise millions of dollars every year off of this program that were trackable and, uh, and added value to the community. And so instead of trying to sell um, and, you know, jump down their throats, we attracted them to us. And in their minds, you know, we remained a high-end shopping center and they had a reason to come to us in addition to tell their friends about us. So as an entrepreneur, this is, oh, Tony, hi. So, you know, uh, uh, he worked at the mall too. So, you know, so this is about um, understanding 
human, human psychology, human behavior, and doing it at a, from a place of higher value. So, you know, um, the reason why I told people to get off that just wanted to learn about like the techie things in the beginning is because, you know, everyone's trying to teach you to funnel people and to do all these things that, you know, you can do and you can implement and learn and, and, and it's important, some of it. But before you do that, you actually have to understand the other things that are going on in your ideal client's lives. You know, um, I'm a business strategist, so I help people build their business. But that's not what, you know, my, my purpose is, my, what I want to focus on and what my value is. My value is helping other people stand in their value and build their business based off of their true purpose and then um, help their clients that way. So, you know, if you haven't heard my story before, you know, when I, when I started my business and I discovered how to um, network online um, and I uncovered my own value, I made a lot of money. I mean, it took me a month to start making five figures. And I didn't have funnels. I didn't, you know, my email list was like, probably for the first year, my email list was under 100 people. Um, because I never focused on building my email list. That's not important. I was focused on um, how can I help my next client? You know, what is it that I can, I can help them with? And that's all I focused on. I didn't try to complicate it. And it wasn't until I started to try to learn about funnels and different things like that, that, you know, my not techie brain started to go, oh my God, like get overwhelmed, just like I'm seeing other people doing. So rather than a high tech funnel, uh, you can do the funnel, but I want you to think of it as a feelings funnel. How can you understand what it is that your people are going through that you feel from a gut place because you've lived it? That's called, you know, when you really get down to it and you discover what I call your genius, which is a combination of your expertise and life experience. That's your purpose. So my purpose is to help people understand their value because I spent 46 years of my life uh, not knowing my value and 48 years trying to, um, trying to uh, please other people and um, you know, not, not really understanding my identity. So you know, at the basis of your marketing, it's not dumbing it down. It's not, you know, trying to um, fill it with all these different things. It's about understanding what your highest value is, what, what you are here to do, and then understanding all the different pieces that your ideal clients are going through in order to fill that feelings funnel so that then they will be attracted to you. And there's a difference between selling and client attraction. So client attraction, you know, once you start into this feelings funnel is about um, producing something that is entertaining, fun, um, of high value that will attract them to you. Selling, on the other hand, is about trying to be liked Remember, we talked about that yesterday. So selling is about trying to be liked, trying to build rapport. Hey, you know, I, I went to college at the same place. And then, uh, um, you know, funneling them in with, like, dumbed down things that are of low value and then gradually, like, you know, devising a system so that they will, you know, come closer to you. And then, rawr, like, then you, you, then you go and you try to sell them. And then that's why people say that selling feels sleazy is that you're trying to like be their college buddy and then you're trying to like sell them. Okay, so that's, that's what, that's what um, you know, a bad interpretation of selling is. But client attraction and marketing is about producing something that is of high value, fun, entertaining, 
to both of you, to you and your ideal clients. You remember, they're human, so they get bored just like you, you know, these things look like whatever, you know, um, if somebody told, you know, say, say that you're a nutritionist and, um, you know, you're trying to sell like a detox, I'm sorry, but you're trying to sell me, you're going to take all my food away? What? Like, <laughs> you have to understand all the other issues that are going on. So I hope that that's helped you really understand a simplified version of what a marketing strategy that works is. It really is so much more simple than you're making it. And, and if you are trying to make money, let's just say that you haven't made money yet or you're not making the amount that you want, you need to take away, you know, get rid of like the things that are just the extra things right now and just understand how do I make the directest, so, you know, I'm one about efficiency. My dad was a, a civil engineer. You know, I want like the direct shot. So if, if, if you are trying to make money then your direct shot is between you producing the value for your ideal client and being able to help them with that. It's all you need. You don't need funnels. You don't need an email list. You don't need any of that. You can build the system and you know the funnels and all the, the other things after you learn your own system of client attraction. So I'm going to leave you with that because, um, you know, I think that's a lot of value. And um, I think, I hope that it answers uh, a lot of people's questions with why things are so complicated and difficult. And uh, you may want to rewatch this, um, share this with anyone, because I think that there's a lot of people struggling with what marketing is. And if you have questions, come join me at the Genius Collective. And then tomorrow... I have, uh, I, I'm just, I'm, I, I'm starting the sign up for a new training that's going to happen um, in the next few weeks. And the, in addition to that, there is a free challenge and then uh, two, um, two trainings that are coming up, uh, audio. So uh, I hope that you will um, keep an eye out tomorrow and come join me at the Genius Collective. We're intelligent people who want to do good in the world and want to have fun doing it and not waste time and actually be productive. Um, hang out. Okay. I keep getting kicked off, but have a great night, everyone. Bye.